Okay. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure the Compiz um, window manager. Um, Compiz is basically just a Windows manager that adds cool effects to your um, uh, Linux operating system. Um, I'm going to start in LXLE or LXDE, which is the original lightweight desktop environment that comes stock on Linux. Um, before I begin, there's a few files that you're, or a few things that you're going to need to download. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all on a uh, Ubuntu Software Center. I'm pretty sure Compiz is what you have to type in terminal and it'll just download the whole suite, but I'm not sure. So give me a minute, my internet is really slow today for some reason. Okay, so what you're going to need is um, three different apps. You're going to need Compiz Core, um, Fusion Icon, and I'm not sure about this. I've read several different things as to how to install this. Um, I think CCSM will install that. Whoops. I forgot to add install. Look at me go. Alright. Okay. So you will actually have to type in the entire name, which is compiz con config dash settings dash manager and then let that process run and I guess I've got an update so I'm just gonna let that run whatever and after that installs I've not gotten the fusion icon to work, so I have no clue what that does, but your CCSM will be here, and Compiz Core just does, it doesn't have an icon. Okay, so that's unpacking and processing everything. Whoops, I don't know what I just opened. Hold up. You won't need this anymore. <clears throat> you can install them right from the software center. If you would like. It's probably easier than my way, but I'm just doing it to show you what you need to get. Okay, after that's done, you can go ahead and close terminal for now. You'll need it again in a little bit. So, um, If you go to preferences, I've already got my Compiz set up, but there's a bunch of different things that you can do with it. After it all downloads, you're going to want to switch your window manager. To switch it to the Compiz so that it will work, you'll type in Compiz space dash dash replace. Just like that and then it'll change all of your stuff give it a minute to run that process and then as you can see all my windows close and minimize differently okay I'm trying to think where I want to start here um, Let's start with general options. Alright, 
So this is just basically everything that you need for the general thing. Um, you can change everything in here. I've never changed actually any of this um, except for the key bindings. I've changed a couple of key bindings. I'm trying to remember which ones. They might not have been in here. Oh, hey, that does do something. Okay. I didn't think that worked. Okay. Um, to set up multiple desktops, which I will show you how to do this shortly, but to have multiple desktops, what you need to do is go over to General Options and then Desktop Size. Um, on the horizontal, it depends on how you want it set up. If you want them to show up in this, like this, then you'll change the vertical size. If you want them to show up horizontally like this, then you'll select this. Um, okay. After you get that set up, if you want the dual desktop, then um, you'll have to set up Expo to switch, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. You'll have to set up Expo. And you'll just check this box. And you can bind a bunch of keys to this. Um, my Expo key is set up for F4. Because that's which key it is on the Mac. And I'm used to Mac. Um, you can set a button on your mouse, and you can have it grab the uh, I guess you can't have it grab the key. Um, button 2 is your middle, the scrolly wheel button. Um, I don't have the mouse enabled. Uh, you can set up a corner. so that when you move your mouse to that corner it'll do that and stuff. I don't really like that either. And you can set up multiple corners too. Um, so that's cool. You can change the animations have it fade and zoom, which I'm not a big fan of. I like the zoom. It just seems more there. But that's Expo. You can set up um, decorations and stuff. I don't know how to do or change the window decorations yet. I will post a video as soon as I figured that out, though. So, um, you can do animations on your windows. I will go into that in a different video. Um, it's actually kind of easy. It comes up with a default animation. I've obviously changed these. But usually the default animation is this for each of your windows. But to edit that, you just you click on the animation and you can change it. and um, just change the effect. Don't mess with this because I managed to screw it up last time I messed with that. Um, you can have it grab. But yeah, definitely don't mess with that because if you delete that, the animation won't work. and see I change that and it does that. Um, I don't even remember what it was. I had these all set up. There it is. Alright. So that's window animation. You obviously have to click this little checkbox to activate that. 
a lot of these other things will uh, automatically turn on for you if you pick something that needs it. Um, what buttons did I have for this? Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, you can set up um, zoom under comp is, which is kind of cool. That turns on by default mouse pulling and this thing, I think. I think. But this is cool. I mean, it makes it a lot easier to uh, film. And uh, so you know what I'm talking about. And I can zoom way in or way out. So that was cool. Um, another thing, I don't know what this is. So I don't mess with this. You can if you know what it does. Otherwise, I wouldn't screw with it. Um, commands are cool. You can have a ton of things set up. Um, under Compiz, the uh, calculator key on the most keyboards doesn't work anymore. So you'll have to set that up. And if you're running LXLE or other, just go to Accessories and then find your calculator app. Um, whichever one you want to use. I don't think I've ever tried this one. I like the other one better, honestly. So that's set up to my calculator key. Uh, Google Chrome, I can launch that with Control Alt Home. I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Control Alt Home. There it goes. Launch two windows. Um, I can run Steam with Control Shift Tab. Uh, it's going to take forever to open up. I have my open box replaced, mapped to the explorer key, which originally would bring up the file system. Yeah. And I made myself a shell script, and I can execute that with um, shift control tilde. That's cool, I guess. Um, and um, close. I'm not even sure what's happening in the terminal right now. Um, if I do this. It ran. Should probably update that. Oh, oh. Right. Um, also, you can have it set up to where it by default turns on. Uh, the application you use to do that is under preferences, and then it's this one the default applications for LX session. And then you come down to core uh, auto start. You come down to auto start tab, and then you type in your command here, and these will automatically start at your um, as they log in. So compiz is always on for me because I don't know how to actually set that as your default desktop. So that works pretty much flawlessly, with a couple of exceptions. There's quite a few bugs with it. Um, I guess there is no update, and I need to change this command to sudo, sudo command.
is decent. Um, Compiz also doesn't have the Alt X thing for the terminal, so you'll have to set that up too if you're like me and have your terminal mapped to a key like a freaking nerd. But um, I don't know why that's not working. Why is that not working? Whatever. I'll fix it later. So that's how you do that. Good luck and have some fun with it. If you need more help, comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, some other cool things are this, which I guess I can activate now that I know how to do the viewport. Um, don't even know what this is supposed to do, honestly. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That's how you do that. Good luck, have some fun, and um, read the warnings, obviously, before you do this. Otherwise, you will end up with a broken desktop that is completely unusable. Um, I would definitely not add the auto start to your default applications until you know for sure that this works. You can test it with the um, compiz replace command and obviously this is going to probably mess up because it's already like that. Yep, I told you it was going to freaking mess up. So. There you go. Now I have to completely log out to fix this. If that happens, all you have to do is log out and then log back in. Or shut down your computer. I mean, you'll have to do the reboot. Hopefully that works. So, good luck. Have some fun with it. And... I don't know, if you need help, comment. Uh, good luck.